I am Nathaniel Barr with Open Sign Productions and HorrorHive.com. Here today with Paul from the uh, Pona Jail. Paul, why don't you tell us what it is you do here? Hey, Nate. Uh, I thanks for coming, by the way, and uh, thanks for doing the interview. Uh, well, this is the Haunted Jail, and uh, I am the uh, CEO and head toilet cleaner for the Haunted Jail. Um, what we do here is basically uh, scare the pants off of people to the point where they either want to come back again and again, or they go to the other lesser haunts where they can actually take it. <laughs> um, number one haunt in the tri-state area. Uh, we keep them coming from all over the United States, actually. And so uh, we kind of pride ourselves on a low-tech, uh, high-scare, high-intensity, um, interactive style haunt where we are kind of right up in your face and, and making sure that you are running for your life. Right. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a uh, short history of the Haunted Jail? Mm. That's the story behind this. Oh, wow. Place. Yeah. Uh, this is a Second Empire-style building. It was built in 1875. I believe it was built for right around $34,000, which was a huge amount of money back then. Um, if you kind of go back into history, 1875 up till 1890, I mean, you're in the era of uh, Custer's Last Stand, Jack the Ripper. There's a lot of history going on at that time. And this style of building is actually where the term jail house comes from because um, the house and living quarters were up front and the jail where we are standing uh, is where they housed all the prisoners. And if you look closely, this is the actual Indiana limestone. Each one of these blocks is approximately a two foot by two foot by five foot long, uh, horrendously heavy block of limestone. And if you look carefully where you see the divots, the only way to cut limestone like this was to take a diamond bit blade, drill into it, insert sticks of dynamite, and literally blow it up into squares because the stuff was so hard and heavy that there was no other way to cut it. And then they would have a crane lift one of them, which was several tons per block, and then just mortar it into place. It took quite a bit and uh, was quite a feat to get that done. Um, Sheriff and his family would live up front uh, in the bricks uh, section of the building. And uh, I mean, what a, what a heck of a building. I mean, we really don't have to do anything except let people walk through to scare them because the building is its own intimidation. It's just a, a wonderful, amazing building. Um, we actually had the first and only hanging here in Whitley County. Uh, the execution of Charles Butler. He shot and killed his wife, Abby. And uh, he was caught, he was put in our jail. He then escaped and was tracked to Ohio where they found him drunk and passed out on the railroad tracks. As you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, when you escape, the first thing you want to do is get drunk, and then you pass out and get caught again. Uh, criminals are not very smart. Um, so they caught him, they brought him back, and um, they hung him. They built a state-sanctioned gallows right here out on the East Lawn, and uh, hung him, botched the hanging. Um, there was a gentleman from Louisiana who was present who was known to have some vampiric qualities who watched the hanging, but it was during the day. Uh, so he asked apparently too many questions. The, um, the uh, guards and whatnot kind of brutalized him and threw him in jail. And as the sun went down, he, uh, the fangs came out. And uh, there the legend of the haunted jail starts. I see. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, why don't you tell us what you have new this year? Oh, everything. Every year is new. We. Um, we strip and redo roughly 80% of the building and walk through uh, every season. Uh, we have new twists and turns, we have new animatronics, or uh, we refurbish old animatronics to get them to do something new. So uh, every twist and turn is something new. Right. The lighting is all different, the sound is different. We add to the soundtrack, we add different areas with sound. Uh, and, and actually on any given night, you can go through and see a different show. There's different actors in different places, there's different stalkers roaming. So you may come around a, a corner and there may be a stalker there that's giving you a certain show. The next time you come back, you will be not there but somewhere else right. and, and come out blasting you. So definitely wear your depends. It's a good investment here. Probably good advice. Yeah. Um, is this place mostly a uh, volunteer or? We're kind of half and half. We have we have a paid staff, and we absolutely thrive on our volunteers. Uh, volunteers are the core of any good, uh, sizable haunt. 
n no haunt in America could survive without the volunteers because the, the, those are the anomalies and, the, and the, the X factors that you just don't know what you get. So when these, when these folks come in, and believe me, they are diehards, um, they are the lifeblood, and they come in and they just rock the windows off of this place. So we, we absolutely love them. Well, uh, I think that's all for us. If you'd like to just tell us why we should visit the haunted jail this year. Well, for one, um, if you're going to spend your money uh, to go to a haunted attraction and you want to be entertained, we are the only true haunt in Indiana right now. We're on Indiana's list of haunted places. Mm. So not only will you get the benefit of our actors, our stalkers, Chainsaw Larry, Deimos Nosferatu, Giggles the Clown, uh, you will also get the benefit of all of our inhabitants, which are actual spirits, who will change our mannequins around and will cause things to move where they're not supposed to and will give you the ride of your life. So we are bleeding for you from spending our money and our time and our love to get this done. So we want you to come here and give us some of your bodily fluids as well. How's so, that? Sounds fantastic. <laughs> well, I've been uh, Nathaniel Barr with Open Sign Productions for Hive.com. This has been Paul from the Haunted Jail. And uh, you should definitely check this place out. It seems very terrifying. It is. Thanks for coming out, guys.